What's up guys? It's Jacob from Fuel Tech, Tech Support Supervisor. We're here with another episode of Tech Tuesday. This week we're going to show you how to convert a 550 harness to work with the FT600 and that also works with the FT700 and 700 plus. So let's get started. All right, so first thing I wanna show you guys is how to work with these connectors. It's an amp super seal. It's common on a ton of aftermarket ECUs. You've probably seen it before. These connectors are super easy to work with. They have a little tab on the bottom. We just push it up. That unlocks the pins. You can pull the pin out of the back. Then it, it will lock back. Something that you may run into in this process. If you, let's say, insert a pin it doesn't quite get in, it won't lock. So if you're fighting something like that in this process and it's not locking for you, you know your pin's not in all the way. But if it is in all the way, you'll feel firm, kind of a little click, locks back in, you're good to go. So the main reason we're covering this today, showing you how to swap the plugs on these harnesses is if you already have a 550 running in your car, you wanna get a 600, you wanna get a 700, 700 plus, this is gonna show you how to do it. We have, this is a little cheat sheet we made up. It's available in the link below the video and you can also get it from the website. But it's gonna show you which pin goes from here to the corresponding pin on an FT600 plug. The, the main difference in these is with a 450 and 550, you have inputs and outputs on each connector. They're kinda, kinda mixed up. With the 600, all of your inputs are on one connector. All of your outputs are on the other connector. So to make this look really, really nice, like if you really, like if this is something you're gonna see all the time, you would probably cut further back than I'm gonna cut today. Like you would have to come to here to make this thing look super killer. But for today, we're gonna cut it back some, we're gonna splice one wire. So just to show you guys, before we get started and take this thing apart, this is an LS550 harness. It's made for the FT550. We're gonna plug it in. See, no problem. The thing is, the 600 has a bigger connector, more pins. This harness is not compatible with the 600. It doesn't plug in. When we get done, this harness will be compatible with all of these other ECUs, 600, 700, 700 plus, they all use the same main connector. All right, so we're about to hop right in, uh, use our cheat sheet. We're not gonna sit here and make you watch me work for an hour, we're gonna time lapse it. Uh, we'll cover anything anything special we do when we get done with the time lapse, but just to show you guys about how much time it should take and kind of how to do it hands on. We're done with the conversion to the 600 plug. Uh, you just watched a time lapse. It was maybe 40 minutes. It's really easy when you have it out of the car, you're sitting here on the table. Um, I did want to show one splice we have to do is the power wire. That's the only thing you have to do on your own. We spliced one and a two, and that's pretty much it. All right, as you guys can see, um, this thing doesn't look super fancy, super presentable. You can kind of roll it up. I would probably put some kind of sleeving, something on the end if you're gonna make this look nice in the car. This is just a quick way and kind of shows you how to convert it. And you do see they're, they're kind of mixed up because we're going from inputs, outputs being split on the plugs to all my inputs are here, all my outputs are here. Uh, so now just, just to demonstrate this thing, obviously it's not gonna plug into a 550 anymore. Too big. But we can plug into a 600 now. And that also means we're compatible with the big boy, 700 plus. Then the 700s, they also have a C and a D plug. You have a ton more inputs, ton more outputs, multimedia plug, uh, built-in O2 conditioners will go here, but 
Doing this right here is gonna make it where you have expansion options, 600, 700, 700 plus, and you can keep the same basic FT550 harness in the car. Something you guys will probably notice is we do have a lot of empty spots in either connector. Uh, the thing for that is we don't have enough wires to fill this up coming from a 550. If you look at our diagram, it shows you which wires those are. I would probably go ahead and run those to a plug, something, uh, something you can get to later. It makes it easier to add stuff onto this harness because that's kind of the point of upgrading ECUs. More inputs, more outputs, and we don't have to run a wire here every time if we go ahead and put a connector on it. If this looks overwhelming, not something you want to do, we do offer this service. If you have a 550 harness or you buy a new one and you're going to use it with a 600 or 700, we can uh, give us a call and we can convert it for you before it leaves here. So if you guys follow the diagram, take your time, move one wire at a time like you see me do. The time lapse is kind of fast, you might not see, but several times through I might get five or six wires in. Every five or six wires I will check the lock, make sure it locks, make sure my pins are in all the way. You don't want to get all the way to the end and figure out the pin it, it doesn't lock anymore because then you got to figure out which one's not all the way through. If you do it five, six at a time, it's, it's easy to figure out along the way. And that pretty much wraps it up. That showed how to step-by-step -step move your 550 harness to a 600 plug. You can use it with a 600 or a 700. Uh, if you guys like what you saw, like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you got any comments, leave them below the video and we'll see you next Tuesday.